Back when I was growing up, all the old folks were making dry fish. Boy, it was the best fish you could ever eat. My parents were never brought up being native. So once I found out I was a native, I said, man, I want to be, be what I am. I'm proud of it. I said, why be ashamed? You're an Indian, you know. 34 years later, I was still living in Craig. I decided to move to Cloak. My first start 34 years ago. And for dried fish, you cut the collar off. You gotta cut the top pin off. And here's the tricky part. Can you hear the backbones cutting? Right here, turns the rank real fast. So I just take and cut it off. I tell you, if the old timers had a knife like this, I don't know, they probably would have cut their fingers off. <laughs> I want to show you. People don't realize. See these backbones? You smoke them for one or one day or so. Steam them, boil them, they're the best eating around. Like all the bellies I save off of them. All the bellies. Everything goes. The only thing that I don't eat is the ribs. This, this is for strips. See? It's the tail part. Smoke it for roughly eight hours. Here we go. I put these in the bags. Tomorrow morning, there will be about a quarter inch of ice on them. Well, I leave the bags open for the ice. If you uh, ziplock it, for some reason the ice won't form on top of it. Why I put it in the freezer is all this water, it, it sucks out of the fish. This fish is half dry before I even put it in my smokehouse. A lot of people think I cheat because I use a slicer. But if I did it by hand, I'd be only be able to do two, three hundred, four hundred fish a year. This way I could do three, four thousand. <laughs> Once I lay them on, I take my salt shaker and start it all over again. Once we get a full layer, then I salt them down. My mom always used to tell me, she says, son, 
If you're going to give something away, you better be able to eat it yourself. And that's why I take great pride in what I do. Because <laughs> I always remember that it's stuck in my mind forever. Everyone in Kloak always used older. But the people down in Heidelberg use, they call it cottonwood. It's beechwood with everything out of it. Smoke it for roughly eight hours. And then I take them, put them in my dry shed for two or three days. I'll show you this one that I just put in this morning.